There are thousands of ways to turn some money into more money. And if we had as much time as we wanted to generate wealth, nobody would have to worry about the security of their retirement. Unfortunately, we don't. From the moment we start earning to the second we retire, the clock is ticking. So when it comes to our investments, ROI, return on investment, is one of the biggest considerations. The question is simple. Which investment solution has the best ROI? The answer is not simple. Fortunately, I'm here to help. In this video, I'm going to stack my investment strategy of choice, stock options, up against one of the most popular methods of all time, real estate investing. Let's get started. Thank you for watching this video. But before we begin, if you could, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you know someone interested in options, please feel free to share this video with them. Now let's get started. I've been very open about my endorsement of options trading, but that doesn't mean I'm not fair. Investing is about balance, and what might work best for me might not work best for you, and so on. But investing is also about knowledge. If you're looking to grow your money, it's important to know the pros, cons, weaknesses, and strengths of every strategy you might attempt. In this case, we're going to pit options trading against the sort of income you might expect from renting a single family home. And since my options versus dividends video, which you can find in the description, was so well received, we're going to go ahead and throw these two into the ring. In this corner, options trading. If you don't know what options trading is by now, I'm guessing this is the first video of mine you've watched. Luckily, it's an easy explanation that I don't mind repeating. You see, options are contracts that allow you to buy or sell a stock at a specific price within a specific period of time. But unlike simply trading the stock the normal way, you aren't required to make the deal, which equates to leverage that traders have multiple methods of exploiting. Options trading is characterized by its accessibility and potential for high returns. You don't have to be Warren Buffett to trade options successfully, which is appealing to those who don't have a lot of upfront capital. However, it also allows for immediate income, which is even better when you don't have a ton of cash at your disposal. This translates directly into the ease with which you can scale your operation. After all, the earnings you can recycle into your investment, the faster it will grow. Now, the flexibility of options trading is another significant advantage. You don't have to be an expert to tailor your strategies to different market conditions, regardless of whether the aim is maximizing gains or minimizing losses. Many options traders like me do everything from home, which means no dealing with banks or paperwork. If you have a laptop or even a phone, you'll be in good shape. Options trading isn't new and it's not exactly old. I'd say it's a bit like the plucky MMA fighter who decides to try boxing for a change. How will he hold up? We'll have to wait and see. And in this corner, single family real estate. Now over here we have real estate investment. Real estate is the heavyweight champ. He's been around forever and is a reliable bet when he steps into the ring. Let's look at why that is. Buying and renting a property, or even better, renting a property you inherit or rehab, is a great way to generate wealth. The main reason for this is appreciation. You see, though there have been significant dips at times, the real estate market always seems to recover. Even those properties that crashed hard in 2008 are now back into the profitable range. So, in short, real estate presents a significant long-term value growth opportunity for investors. Additionally, real estate offers various tax benefits. For instance, investors can take advantage of deductions such as depreciation and defer capital gains taxes until the sale of the property. This is a big deal when you're managing a property because every dollar counts. The good news? Once you pay off the mortgage, repairs, and other overhead, the money your renters pay you will be pure, delicious profit. The tangible nature of real estate is another factor that draws more traditionally-minded investors. After all, owning a physical asset can provide a sense of security and stability that is less prevalent than more abstract investments like stocks or options. Finally, real estate is a stable investment with less susceptibility to short-term market volatility offering a low risk profile compared to more speculative investments. Now, if every investing strategy were perfect, you wouldn't need channels like mine. 
But the truth is that there are always downsides. And sometimes those downsides can be exaggerated by your specific situation. So as real estate prepares to go head to head with options trading, what weaknesses can you look to exploit? Well, one of the critical drawbacks of options trading is its inherent short-term risk. After all, options are highly sensitive to short-term market fluctuations. That's actually what makes them profitable. This means avoiding losses can often require accurate predictions and timely decision making. But if you're new to the whole options trading thing, you might not have the experience to make those decisions. Lastly, you need to understand that there are no tax benefits to investing in options. The funds you earn need to be claimed the same way you would claim any other type of investment income, and that means capital gains. But before you assume that options trading doesn't stand a chance against real estate, let's take a look at some of the latter shortcomings. It's a dream scenario to inherit a piece of property that doesn't require any work to rent. The truth is, whether you're buying, buying and renovating, or simply renovating, getting started renting a single family home requires a significant initial investment. Clearly, this can be a huge barrier for many potential investors. Real estate can also be difficult to scale without capital. Again, unless you inherit a perfect home right out of the gate, you'll have some money you'll need to make back before the payments you get from renters can be considered profit. Sure, if you bought the property, the renters will pay off your mortgage, but you only make a few hundred bucks each month. And keep in mind, a lot of that will likely go to upkeep and repairs. While we're on the subject of tenants, I hope you're a patient type, because renting to other people can be a nightmare. None other than Dave Ramsey himself started off in rental properties, and even he almost gave up several times due to poor renter behavior. Finally, real estate investment involves extensive paperwork and interactions with banks, adding to the complexity and time commitment of these investments. So while it's true that options trading is pretty hands-on, real estate rentals require both hands and loads of time to pull off. Now that we know more about the two contenders' strengths and weaknesses, let's see how they stack up against one another in a head-to-head -head bout. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! To do this, I'm going to list a series of features and then see which one comes up on top. Cash flow. I just discussed how real estate almost always takes a little while to start paying off. This is just the nature of the beast, as most people don't inherit a perfectly ready-to-rent home. Options trading, on the other hand, offers quick, reliable cash flow, provided you know what you're doing. In the short term, options are going to be real estate every time. Initial investment. Again, we're talking about the difference between buying stock options and buying an entire single-family home. It makes sense that options will require a lot less upfront capital and be much more attractive to first-time investors. ROI potential. This is a difficult one because a paid-off property can generate significant monthly income from rent alone. Also, unlike options, rental real estate gives you tax advantages that can help offset other income. And you also have to factor in your ability to sell it for a profit after years or even decades of appreciation. For overall ROI, real estate is the winner. Time investment. It goes without saying that options trading, which some people do for only one hour or less a day, is much less time intensive than dealing with banks, making repairs, calling tenants, and handling all the other things that go into managing a rental property. Options are the clear winner here. Short-term risk. This one is also difficult because while options do offer short-term risk, so do rental markets. What if there's a surplus of properties or a shortage of renters? What if your tenants bail on the rent and it takes months for you to find new ones? Remember, every second you don't have a paying tenant is the second you're on the hook for the mortgage payment. But if you have a good property and a good tenant, this risk is actually pretty low. The stock market, on the other hand, is very volatile and good trades can go bad in a hurry. Real estate is the winner here. Long-term risk. From a long-term risk standpoint, real estate is the clear winner. Though you can grow a significant amount of wealth from options, the fact that you're trading daily and relying on the overall stock market simply induces more risk into the process. Homes in good neighborhoods and growing cities will always be needed and therefore will always have value. So who wins? The final tally, options three, real estate three. As you can see, there are some significant differences between trading options 
and investing in real estate. But is one really better than the other? Not really. As a matter of fact, I'd say they're not even competitors. Options are a derivative of stocks. They're contracts. They don't hold value beyond their expiration. And they don't appreciate over time. In truth, options trading isn't even really investing, but they're good for generating cash flow. I trade options for weekly profit, but it might surprise you to find out that I also invest in real estate. Options trading helps feed my real estate investing. Is options trading better than investing in real estate or vice versa? No. They serve very different purposes. One is more short term and one is more long term. Each has its advantages and disadvantages and they can be quite complementary. Options are a better method of generating immediate cash flow while real estate provides better opportunities for equity and net worth growth over the long term. A sound financial strategy might include both, but which one you choose should depend on your own personal objectives. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Good luck with your trading.